another top day for Team New Zealand in the Louis Vuitton Pacific Series, beating one of their main rivals, Oracle, in the opening race this morning. Martin Task has been watching all the action unfold and joins us now from the Viaduct Basin. Martin. Glorious day. Another glorious day, Tony. Uh, we've had the classic battle of all time, of course, Dean Barker on Team New Zealand up against Russell Coote sailing for Oracle, and it was classic match racing. <laughs> The start box was a dizzying display of tight turns as Dean Barker wrestled for the key right-hand side advantage. It paid dividends and Barker led Russell Coots at the top mark. On the run, Team New Zealand had to make the call as to which side of the course to take, Barker going right. Uh, right gate, yeah. Oracle charged to the other gate at speed and emerged on the second beat in the lead. Barker then backed his afterguard and clung to the right, waiting for a predicted wind shift. Happy to keep going. When the shift came, they tacked, and Oracle had to dip around Team New Zealand's stern. Barker climbed up, up and away. The race won. Just a little extra satisfaction that it was over Russell Coots in his boat. You're not going to uh, bait me on this one. No, it's uh, it's um, yeah, it was, it's always nice to race those guys. You know, they're a very competitive team and uh, very good guys here. So yeah, it is nice to beat them. Upset of the day saw the fledgling Greek challenge beat Shoshaloza, the South Africans handicapped with a penalty before the start. The killer blow came on the first beat as the Greeks tucked into a lift and rolled over Shoshaloza to move into an unassailable lead. It's the first ever America's Cup team from Greece. It's the first ever win uh, from a Greek team. And I dedicate this victory to the Greeks of Diaspora and the New Zealanders and everybody back home in Greece. A famous day indeed for Greek sailing. So Martin, history on the water today, but also a significant day offered as well in terms of the America's Cup. Well, yes, indeed, Tony. I mean, it's not often that uh, Oracle boss Larry Ellison talks on TV about the ongoing legal dispute with Alinghi. And he pulled no punches at all when he spoke to me as he was getting on board the boat to go racing. And as far as he's concerned, there's a simple solution to the court case. You know, we've always said if, if Alinghi will just go back to the same rules we had in the last America's Cup, we'll drop our lawsuit and we're in. But they, uh, you know, they still insist that they can change the rules whenever they want to uh, or, or dismiss a competitor whenever they want to without consulting with anyone. So we just, we just can't accept that. So strong words there from Larry Ellison, but back here at the friendly regatta, then tomorrow Oracle are up against the China team, that should be no trouble at all, while Alinghi have the British Ben Ainsley's team origin. Now that could be a good one, so can't wait. Nice tip there, Martin. Thanks, Martin. Martin Tasker live from the Viaduct Basin.